So here we have a Raspberry Pi with EAS3935 sensor. So you can see here we have Raspberry Pi connected to the EAS3935 sensor. And uh, outside it is raining heavily. What we are actually trying to do is like uh, this sensor is able to detect and predict lightning. So right now if you can see uh, the uh, program is already running and uh, it is showing overhead storm and it is almost like one kilometer uh, within one kilometer range and it gives the time but what happens if it is uh, far away so this is a far away lightning so it will give the estimation distance of the strike so the specialty of this sensor is like it gives the starting point of the storm so unless and until it is overhead Overhead in the sense it is on the top of the head and the storm is over the top. Yes. So here we need to capture some lightning. You can see the time now is uh, 
we need to give some capacitance value here I changed 5 for more sensitivity so it can even pick a smaller uh, variations oh yes just have a detector now we have only thunders coming up thunders are giving only noise out but lightning strike uh, it what actually makes it more powerful enough for the EMF wave to generate tune it again so tuning depends upon the frequency which uh, you know the lightning has to be changed uh, usually it will be in the topmost D level so D is 14 plus just U D here it's in a hexa value format uh -huh. and it started Think this capacitance works. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to tune it again. So, once the tuning happens, it's not a big deal of uh, changing it again and again. We just put back the original value here 8. Okay. Let's just wait for it. Meanwhile, I'll switch on the light. So, if you can see here, I have Raspberry Pi 3 connected to a LAN cable power supply and an I2C connection of this uh, AS3935. Just use some jumper wires to connect here. So we have some lightning here let's just see so it's just took as a disturbance since it is not an actual lightning it just took some as a disturbance the noise is actually man-made disturbances disturber is a kind of now uh, what can be said as a, a negative impact lightning these kind of things are not uh, predominant on the man uh, thing so so it is taken under disturber detected so what happening here is like once the noise uh, values uh, we have received so it will try to adjust the noise level so that it can be filtered it out now the disturber is in the same way so let's just make it more sensitive One more problem with this size, like it should be very far away from other electronic devices. If you can see, all my computers are away uh, when compared to the module, and uh, this sensor works in only direction. Yeah, I took again the noise level adjustments. So we have a pickup here. So it is 10 kilometers away. See, this is a lightning detection, and what happening here is like, what is the storm starting point? Is 10 kilometers away from uh, uh, the lightning. And this is not the time of detection, and everything is locked up. So that's it, guys. Thank you.